Yes, yes, Eddie J here with another short session. I wanted to try something a little different here. My two subscribers are probably expecting some drum and bass music, yet I wanted to share some knowledge I found recently. This is a mashup of two passions, of which something people will enjoy. If you do like it, show me by liking, disliking, and subscribing down below. This topic here is, why is machine learning so powerful? For those new to machine learning, think of it as software that you can teach. Most of us already interact with learning machines daily. If you visit Facebook, Google, YouTube, check your email, use Spotify, all of these products are collecting data and using that to train software. This is one heavy topic. I will talk about it in a way that uh, everyone can understand. If you want more info, of course there will be descriptions in the link. That includes for the music as well. Let's start off. Let's move this out of the way. Now we've got uh, a little application here created in JavaScript to create um, some data that we can input into our machine. Uh, this machine has been trained with a data set to be able to read 0 through 9 uh, human written letters. So let's give it a 3 here. Beautiful. We're going to save that. It's going to output some zeros and ones down below. I'm going to copy that with my keyboard. And we're going to jump into the code. Uh, don't let this uh, code uh, scare you. Basically, it's really short. It's less than 100 lines, and uh, it's very simple. Um, we're using quite a simple model, so we're going to input our image, which has been converted to zeros and ones. Uh, down here, we have the labels. Uh, so we're going to tell the machine what our number is. So we have zero, one, two. So we're going to set that to a 1, which is binary, means yes. Set that to a 0. We're going to save this with the keyboard. And we're going to run our machine. This should give us a 1, saying that yes, it is in fact a 3, and it did. Good. So let's erase this. So let's try something a little different. Give it a two, and leave it. Okay, save that. You can be in paste here. Okay, we'll come back to our code. So we're gonna delete this using some keyboard shortcuts here, just to make it a little easier. Super long line there. Okay, we're gonna leave our label as a three, so we got zero, one, two, three. We're gonna leave it to a three, even though we have a two. And we'll see what the machine tells us it is. It should say a zero, saying that it is in fact there it is. So a two is not a three. So that's our machine. It's able to um, read human written letters. I did try this with the number one and it was not very accurate. This model that I'm using is a little shy of 92% accuracy. Uh, and that's just because it's condensed. It's meant to be uh, short and easy to read and it hasn't been optimized so it's fast. It's fast to run at the cost of accuracy. Um, but that's fine. It's a good example. It shows us. Alright, now let's bring this back. Um, so, this could solve even more complex tasks, say by adding letters uh, to the training data. And what this would do is, say you're a government organization uh, and you've got a slow mail system. Uh, so you, so you, you add letters to the training data and boom! Now you've got this machine that can read letters. This is helpful. Imagine 
you want to automate some of the process, uh, you train the machine to read letters and all of a sudden your labels are being uh, read by a machine. And so you can sort using an automated method. And this is early days still. Um, it's to the point where technical people are able to jump into it and understand some of this madness here. Um, but it's, if you think about how much AI or machine learning is in our daily lives already, uh, it's a lot. So, and you're probably already training machines uh, if you use any sort of voice recognition. So that's where we're headed in the future. I just found this super interesting and I think it's going to become a bigger part of everyone's life. So understanding it now is going to be a huge head start. Uh, that's all I got for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe if you want more. Thanks.